Okay, so my name is Phoebe Robinson. I'm a New York-based comic. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and I actually got started in stand-up about four years ago. I took a stand-up class at Caroline's against my will. I was forced by a friend, uh, and I ended up loving stand-up from that class, so I just kind of hit the ground running. Yes, I am. Like, I didn't watch... Bill Cosby or Carlin. I didn't watch any stand-up specials growing up. And I knew, like, you know, Chris Rock and Ellen DeGeneres. And I seen Dan Cook a couple of times, but I wasn't, I didn't really follow stand-up at all. I got them as soon as I started doing stand-up. Then I just started researching and, like, watching things on YouTube and buying specials. So I've, I'm literally playing catch-up right now, so... In February, New York Times asked me to write an op-ed about um, bridesmaids not getting nominated for Best Comedy. So they wanted like, a couple of comedians to weigh in on that. And I have another comic that I know. He has a blog, and he Facebooked me. He was like, hey, you know, how are you writing more now? Like, like that article was like, pretty good. And I was like, ah, no, not really. And then I had an audition like later that week, and I had to write a bunch of stuff and prep for it and like, you know, say into a camera. And I didn't get the gig, obviously, or I'd be like on TV right now. But they were like, oh my God, you wrote all that like in a day, like you're a pretty good writer. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I kind of am. I just hadn't really written a lot since uh, I graduated college. So I was like, maybe I could just start a blog. I don't know what I would talk about, but I'll just start a blog. And uh, I remember people always call me like a black Daria because I'd be like really sarcastic and dry. And I was like, well, at least I have a name. So I'll just start writing three times a week. And now it's kind of, I think it's more like pop culture based and like a little bit political. So now I have kind of like a, a, a zone that I'm going in. The, the Gabby Douglas hair thing, I didn't even, like when I heard there was a controversy, I was like, what are people talking about? Like that's how all gymnasts wear their hair. They wear a bunch of hair clips and they put like a shitload of gel in their hair. And it just seemed like really cruel that people were picking on a 16 year old. I don't know, on one hand I'm like, don't apologize. But I really mean to say like, don't apologize if you don't mean it. Like I feel like a lot of times comics just say, oh, I'm sorry, just so people get off their back. Where it's like, if you really said something kind of offensive, stand behind it and don't just apologize. Don't give an empty apology if you don't mean it. Um, the thing is, I understand people being offended. You know, like with the Daniel Tosh stuff and the other thing, like I think you're entitled to be offended. Um, but I also feel like, you know, pe audience members need to be more knowledgeable of the comics they go see. And uh, I think that will alleviate, like, I feel like, you know, the girls who didn't like Daniel Tosh, if they looked him up online, they would have saw, like, how incredibly offensive he is. They probably wouldn't even gone to the show. Um, so I, I, I hesitate to, like, blame one side or the other because I think it's, it's a little more of a, a gray situation rather than black and white. But I do think people are sensitive, but I also think that comics can't get mad if people get offended when they know they're saying offended offensive things so i think that's the thing like you, you can't be like i said a rape joke and people got mad about it. it's like yeah people are going to get mad about that that's a touchy subject for people so you kind of have to know what you're stepping into when you say a joke I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm uh, headlining Caroline's for the very first time, which means I'm doing 45 minutes uh, on Sunday, August 19th at 10 p.m. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I've been on the road a little bit. I've done colleges. I've been writing a lot. So I feel like this would be like a really good chance to kind of like put together my best 45 minutes and connect the dots between my favorite jokes and I like newer jokes. And I think it's going to be a really great show. Uh, my good friend, Nori Davis, who uh, kind of encouraged me to get into comedy. He's been on Comedy Central before. He's going to be hosting. And then Jacqueline Novak, who did the Bridgetown Comedy Festival and is hilarious, is going to be my feature. So I feel like it's going to be a really good show. I'm just hoping a ton of people come, but it is kind of late on a Sunday. So I don't know if I get like 75 to 100 people, I think I'll be feeling pretty good.